Hey, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing 5 page ideas for Notion, which is an all-in-one application that can be used to organize anything under the sun. So this time, I'm collaborating with Abby C, an artist, author, and content creator. So be sure to click on the link in the box below to check out her video for 5 other creative page ideas. The first page idea is a weekly reset task list which contains all the nitty-gritty to-dos when starting a new week. The brain is usually crammed with too much stuff to remember, so it's really helpful to offload mundane information into a list like this one. For my page, I have separated the to-dos into different sections. Cleaning my physical space, organizing my virtual workspace, reviewing my tasks and projects, planning for the new week, money, and the life in general. I've also linked other relevant Notion pages here for easy access. Ever since I set up this list, I've been feeling more organized and prepared for each new week. If a weekly list sounds too stressful for you, you can also personalize the list to make it a monthly reset instead. The second idea is a virtual notebook to capture learning notes. Here, I have included some quick links as well as a photo from Unsplash to decorate the page. Every time I take an online course or webinar, I make sure to take down notes and add to my notes database. For each entry, I include the title of the course, the category, which is the main topic of the course, and the source, which is where I took the course. The date that this page is created is automatically generated. I have pre-made this simple course note template where I include the URL of the course, if any, and the name of the course creator. This is a template button which allows me to add a heading easily with one click. Lastly, I added different views for each category to allow me to find my notes quickly according to the different topics. The third idea is a page to organize things related to expenditure. In here, I have three tables, wish list, online purchases, and subscriptions and bills. Putting items in the wish list first will decrease the likelihood of impulse buying. Here, I can do research on the prices and models of the product, list out pros and cons, and think of alternative solutions instead of buying something new. This table is for online purchases where I record what I have purchased and the status of the delivery. The last table is a record of my subscriptions and bills, which I can review from time to time if I ever need to unsubscribe or look for other alternatives. The fourth idea is a library to track all things related to reading and books. On the left are some links to reading resources. In the center is a counter widget from Indify.co to track how many books I have read this year. On the right, a photo from Unsplash again with a link to my bookshelf database where I keep my book summaries and reviews. Right below is a database for my TBR list organized by priority where three paper clips represent the books I want to read the most. I also added text for the book topics and a source column to document where I got to know the book from. Lastly, here's my bookshelf of book summaries which I started doing around last year. If you're wondering, the caterpillars are my book ratings and three rooms is the highest score. Each time I start a new book, I would add a new entry here and select my book summary template for the page. The last idea is what I call an encouragement jar to record positive messages and inspiring quotes. There would always be times when we feel unsure, discouraged or unproductive 
This page is meant to be a little pick-me-up to remind me that I'm appreciated for my work and to motivate me to keep going. Here, I paste screenshots of YouTube comments from you guys, Instagram DMs and motivating quotes that I come across. I like to colour the blocks as well to make the page as cheery and vibrant as possible. So those are the 5 Notion page ideas I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I have created a template for my library page, which is my favourite one of all. So if you would like to duplicate it into your own Notion app, feel free to click on the link in the box below to do so. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.